Hello, baseball fans. Thanks for joining us on this October morning. Here's what's going on around the league as the postseason rolls on. In Game 1 of the ALCS, the Red Sox put together 10 total hits as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland 6 to nothing. They now lead the series 1 to nothing heading into Game 2. For Game 2 of the National League Championship Series, the Arizona Diamondbacks combined to give up just five hits as they took down the Nationals in Washington 5-4. to four. They've now tied the series at one going into Game 3. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be back here tomorrow and all postseason long. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's the second game of this ALCS between the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny, an important ball game coming up here in game two. Well, in a seven-game series, winning game one on the road is great, but it doesn't mean all that much if you can't back it up and win game two. A win here really puts them in a commanding position, but if they split these first two games, it basically becomes a best of a five-game series starting all over again from scratch. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch. Coming up next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 Cleveland Indians. Briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan, please, Zach? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get a chance to watch Sander Bogarts do his thing. He's one of those guys who won at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Carlos Carrasco will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, Carlos Carrasco, power arm, big time slider, great velocity, 94 to 96 miles an hour, but the powerhouse slider is his signature pitch. Has a changeup, but if he has that good slider, he could be really, really tough to hit. Here's how the Indians are setting up on D. And can we please focus on Francisco Lindor, one of my favorite players in the game? Let's check a few boxes. Charisma, check. Switch hitter, check. Cannon for an arm, check. Hit for power, check. Enough said. Standing in, Eduardo Nunez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Alonzo has room in foul territory. 
And he brings it in on the warning track. Out of second. Short stop. Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Previous battles with Carlos Carrasco. He's a 300 hitter, three for ten. First pitch on its way. Fastball that just misses inside. Carrasco, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Rod, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. And there's out number two. Batting third, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. To the plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. Nothing in the first for Boston. Tribe coming to bat. Back after this on MLB Network. And with that, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the Indians. Dan Fleszak, who are you focused on? Well, I'm watching the guy they call Dr. Smooth, Michael Brantley. He's one of those guys who wanted to plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. David Price is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Thanks, Matty. David Price, former AL Cy Young Award winner. Big fastball, 95 to 97. Curveball and a slider. One of the things he does well, commands the strike zone, throws a lot of strikes. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus our attention on Josh Harrison. Basically, your Swiss Army knife for a manager. The ability to play up the middle, premium positions, also both corners, and carries a nice bat to do. Here's Michael Brantley. They lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Indians, number 23, left hander Michael Brantley. Now the first pitch here from Price. Lays pitch off 1-0. Oh. One zero count. Here it is. Aye. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. The one one from Price. Changeup in for a strike. The 1-2. is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to get that one.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. One out, nobody on. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Lifetime versus David Price. He has a three for 12 line. He's taken him deep once. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft under the tunnel. It's not easy to put the time in. The bottom line is, one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. Ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. Here it comes, one and all. Up and running is Lindor. This is on the ground over the first. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. That in fourth. Designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Lindor stands at second with two gone. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Squared that one up just a little late. Price pauses. Here's the two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. One left for the tribe. Still no score. Here's Hanley Ramirez. Previous battles with Carlos Carrasco. He's gone two for eight. He also has one home run. First pitch coming, here it is. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1 0. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1 and 1. Hanley swings and sends it to deep left. And that one is gone. It's a solo shot for Hanley Ramirez. His first homer so far in the series. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing.
Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here is not the end of the world. At the plate, Mookie Betts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. set here it comes hey. takes a knee-high fastball hey I know there's a lot of game left but that is such an important run there in the top of the first try and silence this crowd I can't tell you in postseason play one run feels like three or four comes set and the 0-1 hey. is in there for strike number two pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one and two pitch. And it's fouled away. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Base is empty here with nobody out. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Chisholm Hall sprinting after it and foul. The three, two, one more time. Popped him up. Lindor backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Got him back. Left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch on its way. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting seven. Center fielder. Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Previous battles with Carlos Carrasco. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He's taken him deep once. From the stretch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. As a veteran pitcher, he knows if he's going to have success in this one, he's got to establish that pitch in, get those guys to respect it, and open up that outer half of the plate. Way in front of that fastball. Two out, nobody on. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this.
hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to Alonzo takes care of him, and that ends the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, and it's 1-0 Boston. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, set to lead off the second home half one. of the second. Jason Kipnis! Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Now it's no. two and oh. Three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. The 3-0 is in there for strike one. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in. Down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. The 0-2 once more is taken. That's ball one. one ball Red Sox on top in the early going. one nothing as we play the second. on the ground out to second. On to first, and the price is right here, two away. And with two away, let's check in with our up-to-the-minute playoff bracket. And you can see our series at 1-0 as things are starting to heat up here as we get later into October. Settling in now, Yonder Alonso, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. A high fastball is in there. Alonzo, a six foot one inch left handed hitter, but throws right handed. He was a first round pick during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Price gets his sign. Here's the one-two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. 
some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. So digging in now, Josh Harrison, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. He's set, and the pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. And that one right down Main Street. The one two he swung on and missed strike three. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, Christian Vasquez. And he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here it comes. Fouled away. Heading out towards shallow right. Chisholm Hall is over. Two gone. Now batting. Third baseman. Eduardo Nunez. So striding in. Eduardo Nunez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Nunez takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leap with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to have. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead. In now, Tyler Naquin as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Tyler Naquin. First pitch coming, here it is. That's a ball. And that misses ball one. Hey. A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. The one one. Is a called strike on the edge of the strike zone. Yeah. 
And it's two balls and two strikes now. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is right there, one down. Batting ninth, catcher Francisco Mejia. Digging in, Francisco Mejia. First offering on its way. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. One out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. What does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by. Brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Now at the play, Michael Brantley. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Price into his motion. Here's the nothing and two. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. Fouled off. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Tried to get him out front, but it's a ball one and two. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Indians go down one, two, three. They're down one, nothing. Now in the box, Xander Bogarts. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Here comes the 0 1. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two one. Here it is. This is in the air to right. Chisholm Hall has a beat on it. One down. 
Now batting, designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 0 and 1 delivery. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Up and in on the hands, it's two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. The count now at 2 and 2. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now. It's three and two. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Now the three and two pitch. Sinking line drive out to right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Hey, with two strikes right there, he didn't try and do too much. He took what the pitcher gave him, got the front foot down, and was able to fist feed a soft liner over the infielder's head for enough. Into the box, Hanley Ramirez. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 and 2. And Ramirez able to hold off on that one, but he still trails in the count. It's 1 and 2. The 1 2 misses for the second ball. Here now the 2-2. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. On a line to shortstop. Throw to the bag. And the runner's back in time. The batter, right fielder, Mookie Vest. Standing in, Mookie Betts. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Martinez, the runner at first with two gone. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. 
two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. Missed with a slider. Andrew Benintendi would be next. The 3-2 pick is taken high, but for a called strike three. Red Sox leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Baskersian here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. Lindor. Now the first pitch here from Price. Popped him up. Ramirez in foul ground. He's got it one away. Every pitcher Come loves on. to get quick outs, hey, right? Hey, How about that? One Jose pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Striding into the box, Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Now the 1 0. It's a fastball that misses. Well, 2-0 and now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Outside and low, 3-0. and oh. 3-0 pitch. Here's the two-seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. So here's the cleanup hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a snap move over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. First delivery to him on the way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. No runs, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. Owen two count to Edwin Encarnacion. Owen oh two, here it is. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball.
first pitch on its way. A fastball that finds the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. The one two. High and deep to straight away right. That's looking up. And they take the lead. It's gone. Straight away right field, his first homer here in the series, and the Tribe take a 2-1 lead. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world, and when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it just like he did there. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in. Lonnie. Blake starts him with a strike. It's 0-1. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. You could definitely tell this hitter's been guessing at the plate and guessing wrong. But here's where you can't expand the zone. You have to take a deep breath and try and fight yourself back to an even count. And that one just missed outside. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Indians get a couple of runs here on the strength of this two-run home run. We're through four. It's now two to one, Cleveland. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Here's the first pitch to him. This is pulled into right. And Chisenhall calls for it and takes it for the first down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1 0 is looked at for ball number 2. Bradley, or JBJ as the initials read, it was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. 
And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Now the two one pitch. And it's fouled away. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Back up the middle. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter, number five, second baseman, John Harrison. So stepping in, Josh Harrison looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First offering on its way. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his own, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. And they'll try to That's tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 2-1. Here's Yonder Rolonzo. He'll be the one to lead it off against David Price here in the inning. Yonder Alonso. Here's the first pitch to him. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. and Now the 1-0. Misses, ball two. 2-0. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell Out behind 2-0 to start the at-back. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1-0 home is looked at for the first strike. Ball two now. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Here now the two two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Francisco Mejia. Stepping up to the plate, Francisco Mejia. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch coming, here it is. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And that last pitch from Price was number 73 in the ballgame. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 now. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 0. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Bryce is ready. 3 0 on its way. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Left fielder number 23. Michael so the Brantley. Indians lineup flips over and to the plate Michael Brantley he's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far ready to deliver here's the first pitch and that one just missed outside a lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning, but with the middle of the order up at the plate here, I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch to hack at. The 1-0 home is taken for ball two. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes. With a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up and a 2-0 count, there's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first baseline. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. Now the 2-0 home. 3-0 and oh now. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 3-0 pitch splits the plate for a strike. Mejia leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks now with two away. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle this guy down. Now it's the all-world all-star shortstop Francisco Lindor. One for two on his line so far in the game. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile. Hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Two down runners at first and second. Hey. Two balls and a strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Two 
Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And that misses. Ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there. And a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Digging in. Jose Ramirez. Here comes the first pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Ball two. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on two and oh, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Price comes home to 2-0. Now a hard liner. But foul. Um, this could be trouble now. It's three and one. He's got himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation. And now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. And this is down at the knees but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. It could blow the lid right off this thing. Edwin Encarnacion now. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Right through it here. And he's behind 0-1. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Bases are loaded here, two down. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Hit hard down the line. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Indians forced to settle for one. Five innings complete. The Tribe lead this one three to one. Striding in, Christian Vasquez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a knee high fastball. Just 
towards second. And this will be put away easily for the end. Up next for the Red Sox, third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. Digging in once again, Eduardo Nunez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch, and that misses inside one and zero. Oh. One one swung out and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's Xander Bogarts now, as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hey. Favorable call in there for a strike. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Score holds. It's three to one. Ready now, Jason Kipnis. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. The last at-bat, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The right fielder, number eight, Lonnie Isenhall. Coming to the plate now, Lonnie Chisenhall. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Bradley has a beat on this one. And there's the second out of the inning. First baseman, number 17, Yonder Alonso. Ready once again, Yonder Alonso. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Pitch number 100 on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game.
the one two. It's taken down and in for a ball. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Played on the backhand. Throw in time and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tribe. As the lead remains 3-1. to one. Back here in Cleveland. It's on to the seventh now in game two. But before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. Here's J.D. Martinez, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First offering on its way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. and deep to right center calling for it Chisenhall he's got it one away up next for the rest of it, first baseman Henry Ramirez here's Hanley Ramirez he lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. line drive to center field and he will make the play out there and there are two away now now batting right fielder Mookie Betts here's Mookie Betts he hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game well Matt this has been a big inning on the mound he's had to face the middle of the order and so far he's held them at bay yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Outside. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on so I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Now the 1-0. That's out to left. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? Brantley will wait on it. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Matt Barnes gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Matt Barnes. Into the box, Tyler Naquin. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Tyler Naquin. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 
the 1-0 home. He swung on and missed in that strike one. One's up around the eyes, two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. The 2-2. Two -two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Payoff pitch on its way. This is on the ground over the first. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. How about it? Captain Francisco Mejia. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Naquin aboard here at first with nobody out. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to 1-2. and two. The 1-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Left fielder number 23. So coming to the plate, Michael Brantley. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Breaking ball in for a strike. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. So here's Francisco Lindor now. A hit in two tries for him so far. A look now the pitch swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side Zero. swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2 you know hats off to the pitcher right there you got a great hitter at the plate it's early in the count and he wanted to get ahead nice challenge pitch right there Here comes the nothing and two pitch. 
Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Yeah, there's no question that this one got away from him. He was cruising, had him down 0-2 with two outs, and he's going to be pretty unhappy with that. You never want to give an offense new life in an inning. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Career numbers against Matt Barnes, he's 0 for 5. The 1-0. Hot shot down the line. And this will get by him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. The runner scores from second. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Edwin Encarnacion now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 is laid off for ball 2. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. And the fastball sails on him, and that gets away. So now two men in scoring position. They won't even bother throwing another pitch as they'll just go ahead and put him aboard here. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Tyler Thornburg answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Jason Kipnis will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. From the stretch. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Looking to minimize the damage here. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Cleveland. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Indians four and the Red Sox one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed with a slider. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there, that backdoor slider. 
That's a very difficult pitch to throw, and particularly throw for a strike. Just missed that outside corner right there, but a good pitch and a tough take there by the hitter. The 1-0. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. How about it? Our line scorer here from Progressive Field. Tribe leading this one in the eighth as they look to put the finishing touches on a solid home win. Stepping into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Is our score. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Ready with two balls and a strike. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Josh Harrison waits on deck. Yet here's the delivery and a fastball misses their ball four. Well, when you've been out there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose now, a little precision in your location. He's up over now, 90 pitches everything. now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. Josh Harrison stands in. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch on its way. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. Onto the home run porch and gone. It's a two run shot to straightaway left as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. Yeah, he was having zero luck early in the game, striking out twice in two at-bats. But it only takes one swing to get back in a groove. That was definitely it. Here comes the Indians' manager to make that slow trip to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So as he leaves with the bases empty, he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one-run lead. Cody Allen gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Cody Allen. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. Weak rounder back to the mound. 
And that's the second out. Up next for the Red Sox, third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. Into the box now, Eduardo Nunez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against the modern day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Two and O to Eduardo Nunez. Two out, nobody on. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Got two balls, one strike. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Slapped hard the opposite way. Solid base hit for him his first of the afternoon. The shortstop number two, Xander Walker. Ready for another shot now. Xander Bogarts. He went down on strikes last time up. Quick check on that tying run at first. And the runner back. He's set and the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. and two home now to Booger. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Indians four and the Red Sox three. Robbie Scott is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36. Digging in, Lonnie Chisholm Hall. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Lonnie Chisholm Hall. First pitch coming, here it is. And that pitch catches the inside corner. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One and one. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball right over the outside corner. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Here's Yonder Alonso.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Lifted the other way to left center. Chasing after it is Bradley. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, center fielder, Tyler Naquin. Stepping into the box, Tyler Naquin. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a breaking ball stays outside. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander is up and throwing. The 1 0. Left side, but well fouled. Hits are now even at four apiece. This is line to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. In now Francisco Mejia as the first pitch years have been high it's ball one no hits to this point ready with the 1 0 pitch just missing here 2 and 0 he may be down 2 and 0 after those first two pitches in this AB but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. 2-1. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. Now the 2-1 will not catch the zone, ball three. Michael Brantley would be next. Naquin is off of first with two away. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Coming to the plate now, Michael Brantley in a big at-bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little. So we'll see how he deals with it. Swing and a soft liner. On to first and the driver held in check as the inning is over. Indians strand a couple, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. And welcome back to our MLB Network broadcast from Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. Andrew Miller comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Andrew Miller. Here's J.D. Martinez. 
He's the one to start things off with his guys in danger of seeing this series leveled at a game apiece, barring a ninth inning rally. First pitch on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Left side of the infield into the shift. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead-off guy, any time he gets on, usually creates a problem. And you know what, Dio, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Any time you get that lead-off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. and Nobody out, runner on first. Two. It's fastball taken high for a ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. with another 2-2. Hit hard toward first. And they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second. A double play. Here's Mookie Betts. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. Nope. Lays off oh. the slider, and it's one and one. One and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last strike now for the Red Sox. And a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied them up in knots. And the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game. But when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Tight ball game all throughout. 
winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. Final line.